Eugene Irv, Master Herbalist here with Z Natural Foods. And today's topic of discussion is a frequently asked question in regards to whey protein and specifically whey protein that is clean and undenatured that we sell here at Z Natural Foods. The question that I seem to get a lot is why from batch to batch are we seeing, especially with the whey protein concentrate, not so much with the isolate, more with the concentrate, why we see changes in taste, color, and uh, consistency of the concentrate. And I'm going to go over with you <coughs> five specific details in regards to whey protein, specifically regarding concentrate, although this is across the board about whey protein. And this will help answer all of your questions. The information I'm providing to you today was based off of a brilliant paper that was done uh, for the website by our master chef, Denise, uh, because uh, she just put together this absolutely brilliant paper on whey protein and how it's processed and how it's made and what a wonderful food it is. Okay, so if you do see me looking down a little bit, it's my little cheat sheet here, okay? So let's begin <clears throat> with a few details <clears throat> in regards to whey protein, okay? Whey, just so you're all aware, is perhaps one of the most wonderful, sustainable sources of protein, especially when it comes from grass-fed cows, okay? Um, whey is the watery substance which separates out from the coagulating curd in the whole fresh or skin milk when exposed to the natural acid that's a part of that product, okay? Um, so... <laughs> The question really now is what what factors affect the end result whey protein that you get as the consumer, whether it's from us, Z Natural Foods, or from many companies, although I can't really speak for other companies in terms of the quality of whey that they're using, but this is a fairly general across the board scenario when it comes to whey, okay? The first thing is what the cow has been eating and drinking will first and foremost affect the color and flavor of whey. There's no doubt about it. It's like the expression goes, you are what you eat. In this case, the end product is about what that animal has, has eaten, okay? So oftentimes when I speak about this, it's in regards to if the animal was grass-fed. And remember, dairy cows are not slaughtered, so there's no such thing as grass-finished. It's just grass-fed throughout the entire time. Okay, there is no finish because the cows don't get slaughtered. Okay, um, <clears throat> so again, it's grass fed versus what's called contained animal um, treatment where, they're, where they don't get to roam and they're on a majority grain fed diet. Where this plays a role is obviously not just the, the grass end of it, but also, the diet of the grass-fed cow is much richer in omega-3 fatty acids, uh, and the grain-fed cow is much richer in more grain uh, is much richer in omega-6 fatty acids because it's based off of grains. And of course, there you also have more pro-inflammatory factors that go along with that product as well. Okay, um, the next. Uh, detail is in regards to the quality of the grass that that cow is eating. Now when I use the word quality, I'm not so much speaking of good versus bad. I'm just talking about what the cow is naturally going to graze on. So for example, if you have fresh spring grass, your end result whey protein is always going to be a sweeter, more delicious, creamy whey where when you have sort of a winter grain, uh, excuse me, a winter grass or hay, or even what one might consider to be weeds like dandelion, for example, that they may be grazing off of, the end result is going to be a much more bitter whey protein. And it will also be a darker color whey protein because the grass that they're grazing on is at the end of the season and it might not be as fresh, you know, as when the grass first grows, okay? So that, again, is an important factor in the big picture, okay? 
The next factor is the time of day that the animal is being that the animal is grazing. If it's really early in the morning, you're going to get a greater condensation on that um, or water content on that grass, and therefore the end result is going to be a more watery whey protein. Okay, whereas if it's during the summer, later in the day when it begins to cool down, your end result is going to be a much richer, creamier, thicker whey protein. Okay, because there's not as much water in that, in that animal's diet. Okay, and the final thing that affects the end result whey product is how it's dried and how fast it's prepared. So for example, if it is immediately, once it comes out of the cow, if it's immediately stirred and cooled, you're going to end up with a better end result whey protein because those fats and proteins from the, in the milk are going to be affected if it, if it sits for too long before it gets cooled off, okay? So those are really all of these things, again, in the end, do produce a very different end result, okay? Understand that the whey protein that we do sell at Z Natural Foods, the whey concentrates are 100% pure and there's nothing added to it, okay? Our whey isolate is a little bit different. It has a tiny bit of sunflower lecithin because it's an instantized whey protein, okay? Now, but nothing else is added to it. Now, just so you know, our whey concentrates are 80% whey concentrate. That is our goat milk whey, our cow milk whey, and our, both of which are grass-fed, and our certified organic grass-fed whey protein concentrates. Okay, these are all 80% concentrate, and they do have a small amount of lactose uh, in there, okay? Our, our, um, our uh, isolate is 90% with absolutely no fat and absolutely no lactose whatsoever, okay? So just so you understand the difference. Now, what I do want to do is I want to read verbatim here um, one specific portion of her paper, which was something that I think is really important for people to understand about whey protein and specifically grass-fed, okay? So why eat grass-fed whey? because it is one of the most important foods which help to stimulate glutathione production in the body. Because, it is, uh, because glutathione is um, <clears throat> known as a master antioxidant, Dr. Mark Hyman talks on the subject explaining its fundamental and its, and its essential importance uh, when it comes to how to get the most, f how to get more glutathione into your body naturally, or how to stimulate the production of glutathione in your body in a more natural way. And whey protein is the way it's being done, okay? As it turns out, undenatured grass-fed whey protein is the best food to stimulate your own glutathione production. Although that would be reason enough to take it, that's only one specific reason why we should be utilizing whey protein, okay? Whey is a sustainable protein with a biological value of 100, a perfect score. It is easily digested, okay? And it helps to support healthy levels of gut bacteria and in conjunction with training, does help support the growth of lean muscle tissue, okay? <clears throat> so, um, I, I really hope that today's video has helped to clarify and clear up any misconceptions about whey. And just so you know, this is why not all whey proteins are in fact created equal. So um, I will talk to everyone soon. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.